good morning. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Wendy Cliff and I'm the course leader for travel and the visitor economy. Hi, my name is Tanya Davis and I'm the course leader for travel and tourism courses in level three in Hubert College. Hello everybody, my name is Carol. I am the course leader for level one in travel and tourism. Okay, we're going to start by talking. Reach your goals by doing something you love. Service. Up your game and prove the doubt is wrong. Believe in yourself and achieve your potential. The career you want is waiting for you. The opportunities are here. The expertise are here. The support is here. The inspiration is here. Exits are located at the rear of the cabin and at the front of the cabin. Grow. Thrive. Innovate. Succeed. Wherever you want your story to take you. It starts at Hugh Baird College. Okay, we're going to start by talking about a few of our courses. Carol will explain a little bit to you about our level one course. Hello everybody, um, as I've just said before, I'm Carol. I um, teach on the level one course. This year it's going to be it's split in September where you will take four units from uh, September till December and that will be the award. Then you will do a further seven units which will be the diploma. Some of the units that we'll be doing, they're really good. Uh, we're going to be doing other worldwide destinations, preparation for employment, locational geography, which is maps, continents, uh, customer service, which is vital within the travel and tourism industry. Now I'll pass you over to Tanya. Uh, when did you want to say something about level two from level one? Okay, um, so... <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to tell a little bit about the Level 3 courses. Um, to be able to enrol on the Level 3 course, you have to be um, holding four GCSEs at Level 4 or above, uh, one to be in English, or in the old grading system, that would be Grade C or above. Uh, another uh, entrance requirement for the Level 3 course would be if you have successfully completed Level 2, a qualification, then you can also progress onto level three course as well. Uh, if you are 18 or under on the date of enrollment, uh, you will have to also study maths and English or one or the other if you have not achieved grade four or above in, in school. Um, so on the level three course, you'll be studying a number of units. Um, such as uh, investigating the travel and tourism sector, customer service, um, the UK as a travel destination, European um, destinations and worldwide destinations. Um, you will be studying about how to become a travel agent, holiday rep, entertainer, cabin crew, and basically working with customers face to face. Each unit will have a number of tasks which could be graded past merit or distinctions. And you will be asked to complete a variety of assessment tasks for each, uh, for each unit. Um, your tasks will vary from written assignments, which could be reports or PowerPoint presentations, compiling travel itineraries to practical activities, role plays, uh, written short answer questions and online tests as well. So once you've completed your level three qualification on the first year, you can then uh, either progress to level three extended diploma or you can go into employment in the travel industry or any other relevant industries, which we're going to talk a little bit later on. Thank you. So I'm going to pass you over to Wendy now, who's going to tell you about the level two courses. Okay, so our level two courses uh, consist of three different qualifications. You'll study a level two certificate in travel and tourism, a level two certificate in introduction to cabin crew, 
and a level two certificate in hand to prepare you really nicely for any jobs um, that you would like to pursue in the travel and tourism industry. The travel qualification consists of a range of different units covering lots of different areas in tourism to keep you interested. You'll be learning about the structure of the travel and tourism industry in the UK, looking at how tourism has grown and developed over the years, and um, particularly important now in the uncertain times that are ahead and we'll be looking at all the chain we'll be incorporating into our industry so a really good time to learn about how we're going to change and adapt we'll also do a holiday reps unit a retail travel agency unit so learning about what it's like to work in a travel agent and we'll also study a unit called visitor attractions which will look at visitor attractions not only in the uk but in europe and over the rest of the world as well. Then your cabin crew course is a real introduction to lots of the terminology and lots of the procedures, emergency situations, um, all involved in the cabin crew industry for anybody that might like to um, take that forward. And the food and beverage qualification goes hand in hand because you'll be working in our L20 restaurant, gaining some hands-on experience will help you in a customer service role because um, our industry is very much about customer service. So you'll be learning um, customer service skills. You'll also gain um, experience. So if you want a part-time job, this is really, really good for you. It's good for your CV. So at the end of the year, you'll walk away with three really, really good qualifications to to set you up on your career path if you don't want to go straight into work then you could progress onto the level three qualification that Tanya's just explained to you okay we're now going to share some of our success stories with you of some of our former students so you can see what kind of jobs that they've actually gone into so Tanya will talk to you first about Joshua so Joshua Kavanagh uh, has been a student in Hubert College for two years. He started on the level two for cabin crew, and then he continued with the level two aviation. Straight after completing, um, straight after completing the course in the second year, he secured an employment with Jet Two Holidays in Liverpool um, John Lennon Airport. Um, he's just one of our many students that progressed to successful careers in travel. He has recently been promoted from a baggage handler to a customer helper, team leader, nonetheless. And uh, it's wonderful to see how Josh has grown and progressed um, since he's finished his studies in college. When he first joined us, he was a very quiet and shy student who didn't interact much with many of the students in the group and at, at times acted even uh, uncomfortable being in a group of people. Uh, but the skills he developed in college and all the practical activities and the role plays and the work experience we provided for him while he was in Hubert College has enabled him not just to gain an employment in Liverpool Airport, but in a short period of time, less than two years, to be promoted and to progress to customer leader. He is aspiring to be a commercial airline pilot, and I'm sure with, if he perseveres, he'll be very successful in doing so. So well done, Joshua. We're very proud of you. Yes, definitely. Okay, I'm now going to talk to you about another one of our students called Michael. Okay, Michael was with us on a level two program. Um, he studied with us a couple of years ago and straight away, in fact, pretty much as soon as he ended his course, he um, secured employment at Liverpool Airport as a passenger service agent for EasyJet. And Michael has done really, really well. And again, we're really proud of him. He spent quite a bit of time um, working for EasyJet. And now I believe he's actually um, taken on a new role uh, working as a travel agent. So again, varying his experience to um, uh, explore lots of different areas in the travel and tourism industry. So again, well done, Michael. Carol will now speak to you about another of our students called Aaron. I'm going to talk to you about Aaron Pickford. 
Um, Aaron started at 16 in travel and tourism and he started on a level two cabin crew. He was really ambitious about being cabin crew from day one when he started. As I said, he was very, very confident. And after his time on his cabin crew course, then he went on to do a level three extended BTEC diploma. At 18, he applied to British Airways and the recruitment process is extremely difficult to get in. However, Aaron got in from his first interview process. He'd done extremely well. He's still working for British Airways, so his office every day is different parts of the world. Um, Aaron keeps in touch with the college. He comes in and he does obviously guest speaking for us, which is really good for the students to see how a student from Hugh Baird has grown to work in the airline industry. And we're extremely proud of Aaron and especially in getting him first time into the cabin crew industry. Um, he, has, he is planning to become a cabin manager, um, but obviously with the minute with industry, but he is still working for BA. And as I said, we're all extremely proud of him. Thanks, Wendy. So from our students and um, what they achieve. Okay, so just a little bit about the course in general now. Uh, when you study with us, you'll be studying uh, what we call a study programme. Involved in that study programme will be your main course that we've just talked about now. Um, it will be individualised for each of you, so you'll all have your own individual um, plan. And amongst that, if you haven't already got your um, GCSE maths and English, you will study them with us as well. And um, we also will have um, an hour a week with uh, your SPC, who's called Victoria. who will go through all the pastoral side of things, make sure that you're okay, that your course is going okay. Um, any issues that you might have, she'll, she'll follow up with you as well. So you'll have that hour a week with, with Victoria. Then as well as that, you will have enrichment time. So you will be expected to go on events and take part in trips and things like that. Carol will talk um, a little bit later on about all of that, of those different elements. The course will um, start in September and we finish at the end of June. So all of our students are now really busy working away, trying to get all of their um, courses complete now. And we are extremely proud of every single one of them for the way that they've changed and developed, um, especially through the remote learning. Tanya will now have a little chat with you about progression and jobs that you can actually um, undertake once you've completed your studies with us. Thank you, Wendy. Um, so just to reiterate that uh, any student in Hubert College who starts in the Travel and Tourism Programme uh, can progress from level one to level two and then to level three first year and level three uh, extended diploma uh, second year. Um, so our programs equip you with the knowledge and experience and the skills, the confidence to be able to enter the employment into the wonderful industry of travel and tourism. Um, it's worth mentioning as well that the travel and tourism industry is the fastest growing industry, uh, not just worldwide, obviously, but in the UK and in Liverpool more so. Liverpool Airport is the fastest growing airport in the UK. Uh, we're going to have the, the cruise terminal opening soon with hundreds of new jobs. So a successful completion of your course, you can gain employment in many travel industries. Obviously, one of the most popular ones are cabin crew for airlines. You can also work for airports, security, check-in. You can also work as holiday representatives for tour operators. You can work as travel agents. Uh, you can work for cruise operators, event management, visitor attractions, hospitality, entertainment. But not just the obvious travel and tourism jobs. You can actually progress in any job that is customer service based and that would entail um, jobs such as uh, retail travel, advertising, marketing, public services, social care, even teaching. All of us have a background experience in the travel industry. So in a few years time, you could be the one teaching the next generation of students in travel and tourism. 
So really the course in travel and tourism can open many doors for your future and it's the most exciting industry you can ever join. Thank you. I'll pass you on now to uh, Carol, who's going to tell, tell you a little bit about our uniform and standards. Hello. Um, I just want to tell you about, with being part of the travel and tourism, um, you will have to um, do events within college and with outside college as well. I think this is really important because it builds on your confidence. Also, it looks really good on your CV. The events that we do within college are open evening and you all look amazing. So you will uh, meet and greet potential students starting for next year, take them um, to the different parts of the college, not just for travel and tourism, you will escort mums, dads and new students. They could want to do hairdressing or obviously potential business. So it's nice to see our students in the uniform building on the confidence. We also do events outside college, which is good. So we have links with the major hotels, Signature Living, Titanic. And um, also when we have the career college, that's really good. Our students go there and they meet and greet all the different exhibitions that are there telling and taking people uh, round to where they need to be. And again, it does build on the students' confidence. Also, which is really important to be part of this course, you have to wear a uniform. We've all got experience of working in the travel industry and different jobs that we've had, we all have to wear a uniform. This is vital. We're really strict on our standards. Um, this year we had a grey dress and you had different coloured scarves, depending on what course that you were on. So cabin crew was red, level one was purple, level three was green. So it was really, really good. And within the college, you stood out to all the rest of the students there because you knew that you were on the travel and tourism. We're really strict about our standards, the way your uniform is, and especially here, because obviously working in the travel industry, if you work in a travel agent, if you work on the cruise ships, if you work on a reception, you will always see the staff with their hair neat and tidy and also well-groomed. Also, within your uniform standards, we have um, grooming days, which is really good, how to have your makeup. Your jewellery is also very limited when you work in the travel and tourism industry. I think this is really, really important because you're setting a good impression, not only for yourself, but for the college and when you go and work in the likes of the Titanic, Signature Living and all the other things that I've told you that you're going to be doing. So it is lovely to have a uniform and you are really pleased to get up and put that nice uniform on. So um, look forward, we're going to have a new uniform, we don't know what it's going to be, but as I said, it will be lovely. If you look on our website, you can see the uniforms that we've had over the last couple of years. And as I said, our students do stand out. So I look forward to seeing really Fabulous. The boys are just as bad as the girls regards of the grooming. So that is like really, really nice. So um, thanks for that. So now I don't know whether you'd like to take some questions um, for me, Tanya and Wendy. I'm sure there's that you'd like to ask us um, regards of the course and we're here to give you help and guidance. Okay, so question for me. Sam's asking, what facilities do, do you have? That's a really good question, Sam. So in college, um, we've got lots of really nice facilities. Um, we've got um, three, three different, four different buildings, and within them, each three of them have got um, cafe areas. And uh, we've also got a Costa Coffee shop, which is very, very popular with students and staff alike. Um, we have um, a the pod, which has got all of your student services. If you've got any inquiries about bus pass bursaries, uh, counselling services are in there. Um, our support, if you need any in class support, um, all that is in the pod area as well. Oh, okay, Amy's got a question for me. Um, obviously, how easy is to get a job at the end of the course? I always believe that if you're passionate about working in the travel industry, you will get that job. And it's all about, like Tanya was saying before, the different units that we do. You start off from level one. Obviously, some students come in level two, and then you progress on to level three. Then what happens is you've got your level three qualification, and in travel and tourism, it opens up to apprenticeships. Apprenticeships are really important within the travel and tourism industry. So the likes of travel, if you went to work, obviously, for Hayes Travel, or there's a new um, organisation, Barhead Travel, they do apprenticeships, it's a two-year course, and then you'll progress and then 
have getting taken on then to be a, a travel consultant. Also as well, because we've run the cabin crew course, you know, you're not going to go straight into cabin crew uh, at 16 or 17. You're building on your skills. So it's always a good thing to get a job as an apprenticeship in travel, uh, working in the hotel industry. And again, if you're passionate, like we've been when we were your age, um, to get a job in travel, you will get that job. And we will give you all the help and the guidance and the confidence to get you there. Okay, um, I've just had a question from Kate, uh, another good question. Uh, what trips and visits uh, do we go on? Um, so obviously being a travel course, um, I think the clue is in the title, travel. So we do a lot of traveling, not just uh, in the UK and Liverpool, but obviously European destinations. Um, regardless of the level of, of uh, the level of uh, course you enrolled on, uh, you will be uh, participating in a number of visits. Um, so we usually do a few visits around visitor attractions in Liverpool, then uh, some destinations uh, closer to Liverpool, like Manchester, Chester, uh, for example, the field as well, um, such as London. We're planning to go to Edinburgh this year. Um, we also do every year at least one residential trip, trip abroad to an European destination. Uh, so last year, our students went to Amsterdam, which was a big success. The year before, we went to Krakow in Poland. All the students really enjoyed their trips. And we do involve the students as well in seeking their ideas uh, where they would like to go and involve them in planning as much as we can to prepare for the actual travel industry. So some of the trips are actually part of the course. Uh, cabin crew course and the travel course will involve uh, different uh, visits which uh, are part and parcel of the travel course. So uh, you should be passionate about travel and wanting to go on trips if you want to do the travel course. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, another question for me. I want to be cabin crew. Do you have any facilities specific to this that will help me? Uh, yes, I'm very pleased to say we have very good facilities at Hubert College. We have our own purpose-built cabin, which is on the ground floor. Floor. and if any of you have actually visited the college you can't miss it um, it's as soon as you come through the door there's some pictures on the screen that you can see now there's some of our previous students actually sat it duty free in our cabin so you can see it's really really well equipped and we use that a lot we use it for um, not just cabin crew we use it in our other courses too so sometimes the cabin is used for um, coach transfers because it's um, fully mic'd we have a, a microphone system in there so it works really really good for all of our role plays and um, we also do all of our safety um, demonstrations in there nikki our cabin crew tutor will take you through all of those uh, procedures um, and then we also have in one of our classrooms, we have some um, aircraft seats as well. So we've got access to life jackets, um, the um, oxygen masks, seat belts, all the facilities that you would need to do your uh, basic training for cabin crew. And there's another question here for, for me. Uh, what experience placements uh, do we get? We do have good links out there, which is really good. We have links with Hayes Travel. So some of our students uh, this year went to Hayes and they done a two week uh, placement there, which is really good. That gives them an insight to whether they want to work in a travel agents. We also have work placements with hotels like the Titanic. We've had placements with National Express. Also the tourist information uh, and museums. There's, we try to get you the work placement that you would like. But sometimes it's not always possible, but it's always it's always linked with something to do with obviously the customer service, because as we've all spoke before, customer service is vital with the whole travel and tourism industry, no matter what path that you decide to go. Unfortunately, we can't get anywhere placement in the airport because that's due to the uh, the ASI pass. Um, but we do our best to get you into something that you desire to help you with your next step into employment when you've obtained your qualification whatever course that you've chose within the travel and tourism industry and it's really good and we've also had quite a few of our students who've actually got jobs at the end of it so they've come back they've finished the college course and then they've been taken on in the travel industry which is really really good thanks carol i have a question from sarah here who asks uh, what industry experience do staff have uh, could we 
um, say a little bit about our work, our industry background. Um, so we are uh, collectively uh, all from the travel um, industry. We all have a background. And collectively, we have over 50 years of experience in this industry. Um, I myself I have a background in cooperation. So I started as an overseas holiday representative and have worked in a number of European countries from uh, Bulgaria, Spain, Turkey, Greece, Cyprus, and to mention but a few, um, to uh, working in the resort office, dealing with reservations and payments. Uh, as well as uh, back in the UK, again, working for uh, modern holidays, but sadly uh, not in business anymore. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we work for them in the UK as well, selling holidays and flights for them as well. Um, so I have a very extensive background and, and knowledge and experience of the overseas and UK-based cooperation side. Uh, but also have Wendy, who is in business travel, used to be in business travel, so she'll tell you a few words about it. Carol, who used to work with Thomas Cook for most of her working life. And obviously, we have Nikki Tracy, who is still a uh, cabin crew for Virgin Atlantic, still flies with Virgin Atlantic. So I'm just going to flash you very quickly to Wendy, who's going to tell you a few words about her work, work um, background experience. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I started at 16 years old when I left school. I went on what was called a YTS scheme back then, what you would call now an apprenticeship. Um, it was two-year uh, two placement in a travel agency. So I worked there full time and I went to college and I actually did the courses that we're offering here now. Obviously, they've changed a little bit, um, but these are the courses that I studied at the beginning of my career. Um, I stayed in a travel agency for about six years and then I decided I wanted to go and further my career. So I moved down to London um, I worked in business travel in London and um, booking some um, very prestigious um, travel for um, some top names. I did quite a lot of um, journalism trips. So, you know, getting journalists out to different um, places that they were reporting on. I did quite a lot of the entertainment industry. I worked at the Disney offices doing their travel and Warner Brothers and um, doing all of those as well as some um, other accounts like L'Oreal. Did lots of the travel for L'Oreal as, well as, as well as some government work. So that was really, really exciting times working down in London. Then I came back up here, continued my career, and I worked for a small tour operator organising group holidays. Um, really enjoyed that, very, very different, much quieter, um, but it suited me at that time. And I think that's what's really good about our industry. You can have it as busy and as hectic as you want for when that's how you want your life to be. Or you can calm down a little bit and do something still in the industry, but a little bit more um, sedate. So, um, so yeah, I did that for, for quite a few years as well and then decided I would like to share my experience um, with other people. So that's when I decided to do my degree in tourism management and then a PGCE to enable me to travel. So like Tanya said, we have got a lot of experience um, so that's a little bit about me. So now over to Carol. Well, my my I have been in travel since I left school at 16 years of age. And like Wendy, I started on a YTS, which is like classed as the apprenticeship now. And again, I was really, really passionate about travel. <clears throat> you got to go to different destinations and come back and tell customers and build that picture and create the experience to the customers, which is really, really good. I, I only finished travel because um, my, no, my, my work was up until Thomas Cook finished and unfortunately um, when they ceased trade in, in um, September last year. So I have never done any other job. But I started off with small independence because then it was small independence. Then all the bigger ones started like buying them out. And then hence I've worked in Thomas Cook for 24 years and just really, really passionate about travel because it gives you opportunities. Every single customer you sit down with is different. How I got into teaching to bring my knowledge into the classroom, I was asked to be a guest speaker and I come in and I was doing obviously customer service, talking to them about European destinations, how to read a travel brochure. And I thought, oh, I really, really like this. I want to bring my knowledge that I've gained since I was 16 into the classroom to tell the students about my experience and 
how fantastic it was because I would never have gone to the destinations and looked at and seen all the different cultures and sampled all the different food. Obviously that I did. And hence that's why I'm so passionate about travel and that's why we all are. Definitely. Okay, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Don't forget we're still open for applications for September and you can apply online on our website. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Stay safe and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for now, guys. Bye. Hope to see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye.